Hi, I'm Arpit and I'm joined by Shriya to present our work Bag All You Need, learning a generalizable bagging strategy for heterogeneous objects. As humans, we frequently and easily perform tasks such as placing groceries in a shopping bag, putting our clothes in a laundry bag, or even just packing things for a picnic. While humans do these tasks effortlessly, it is a difficult problem in robotics, as shown by prior works that have been limited to bagging rigid objects or using heuristics for lifting the bag. So, in this work, we tackle the novel task of bagging heterogeneous objects. The task is formulated as follows. We have a bag kept open on a surface and objects lying around. We iteratively rearrange the objects so as to have them inside the bag opening. Finally, we lift the bag when we think that the objects would fall inside it. So what makes this task challenging? First, the object geometry. The robot needs to understand how to manipulate objects with different geometries. For instance, here the mustard bottle, the pear, and the cloth all have different shapes. Second, the object material. The robot must be able to reason about the material of the object and rearrange the objects accordingly. For example, a single pick and place might be enough for rigid objects, but we need to fold cloth so that they are inside the bag opening. And lastly, the inter-object dynamics. Learning what configuration could lead to objects falling in after a successful lift, which we call a good pre-bagging configuration, and where to lift from is non-trivial. For instance, in this example, the lift points denoted in red are bad ones since the objects are likely to fall out when lifted, whereas the one denoted in blue is a good lift point. Our approach involves training two policies in simulation, a rearrangement policy and a lifting policy, and transferring them to the real world. The rearrangement policy performs sequential pick and place actions to rearrange or fold items, while the lifting policy predicts a pair of points that are likely to be graspable and enable a successful lift. But how do we generate the tasks for these policies? We start by dropping an open bag and various objects in random poses in the simulation workspace. We then perform random lift and drop for the bag and the deformable objects. Note that we also ensure that the rigid objects are not already inside the bag opening. The final configurations obtained form the task set for the rearrangement policy. We run a trained rearrangement policy on these configurations to obtain the task set for the lifting policy. Note that we balance the task set so that it's not skewed towards either the good configurations or the bad ones. The rearrangement policy is trained using spatial action maps and takes as input an RGB image and a filled bag opening mask and outputs the pick and place actions. The reward given to the policy is calculated using the change in the volume of objects outside the bag opening. For instance, here the apple is almost placed inside the bag opening and gets a reward of plus 0.12. The lifting policy is trained using spatial action maps as well and takes as input an RGB image and the boundary of the bag opening mask and outputs the lift actions. The label is set to 1 if all objects fall inside the bag and 0 otherwise. Clearly, a reliable bag opening detection is critical to the success of our approach. But how can we obtain these masks in the real world? Or more specifically, how can we transfer a simulation trained policies to the real world? Since we already have the ground truth bag opening in simulation, one potential solution is to train a segmentation model using the simulation bag mask. However, due to significant visual differences between the real world and the simulated bag, an algorithm trained in simulation would face difficulty generalizing to real world images. Meanwhile, training a segmentation model in the real world requires pixel-wise bag opening annotations, which are expensive to obtain. To tackle these challenges, we color the opening of the training bag in the real world blue and use this color information to automatically obtain a segmentation label. We then propose a self-supervised bag opening detection approach where we train a unit-based segmentation network with dice loss that takes top-down depth images as input and predicts a mask of the estimated bag opening. The system post-processes this prediction to obtain only the boundary of the bag opening. Note that the input consists of depth images and not RGB, which helps the segmentation network generalize to different colored bags. 
This also helps perform direct SIM to reel transfer without any real world fine tuning or pixel wise bag opening annotations. And that brings us to our real world inference pipeline, where the setup consists of three six dwarf robot arms with a top down camera. As a first step to the bagging task, the segmentation network outputs a mask of the estimated bag opening. Then, for each step, the observation consists of a top down RGB image and the predicted bag opening. The rearrangement policy takes the observation as input and outputs dense value maps and the action corresponding to the highest pick in place score. The lifting policy also takes the observation as input and outputs the action corresponding to the highest lift score. The robot uses the output of both these policies to determine if the pre-bagging conditions are satisfied. If the lifting score is less than a threshold, which is 0.5 in the real world, then the rearrangement action is executed and the system proceeds to the next step. Otherwise, rearrangement stops and the lift action is executed. Since there are no existing works for the task of heterogeneous bagging, we design strong heuristic baselines for comparison. The heuristic rearrangement policy selects a random point on the objects that are non-overlapping with the bag and places it at the center of the bag, as you can see on the right, while our policy on the left is able to strategically place rigid objects and fold deformable objects inside the bag opening, the heuristic always places at the center. This often results in objects stacking and then falling or rolling away, as in the case of the apple, and then now the pear. Once the heuristic is unable to find a valid pick point, it decides to lift. The heuristic lifting policy uses a maximum width lifting strategy and is unsuccessful at lifting the bag. On the other hand, our policy lifts once a desirable pre-bagging configuration is achieved and infers suitable grass points from which to lift up the bag successfully such that all the objects fall inside. Here, we demonstrate a quantitative comparison between the heuristic and our simulation trained policies in the real world. As you can see, our policy outperforms the heuristic and performs progressively better as the number of objects increases. These are some successful real world experiments and more can be found on our website. In terms of failure mode, the most common case we observed was during bag grasping. For instance, the robot would inadvertently grasp a cloth close to one of the predicted lift points and lift the cloth instead of the bag. Another observed failure mode is suboptimal object rearrangement. For instance, a rigid object placed upon a pile of cloths is generally unstable and is more likely to roll away during lift. Thank you for listening. Please refer to our website for more information.